My cousin's completely messed up. I thought he was screwed up the last time I saw him, but right now, he's a whole new kind of crazy. I heard this dead girl had a sister, and that Uncle Mac knew her a little too well. She got in between Mac and Maya and Amy, and now Amy's long gone. She took some guy, Jay, with her, and that left Marla all alone. Steven's girlfriend threw herself off some building. And they say it was an accident, but no one knows for sure. All those kids are so upset. Though, from what I've heard, this little girl's passing healed a lot of rips and brought old enemies back together. Marla says Steven sees this all over wherever he goes. He's got a ghost in his head. Gotta pray for him. All that pain and all because of one guy. Some kid who was just thinking about throwing himself over the edge to get some attention. He got a little more attention than he was after. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. What
that was really beautiful. Please thank Stephen for reading. Why don't you thank him yourself? You sure you want to do this? Guys. Thank you for being there. I know that Olive would have liked that. If our parents are still with us, I know that they'd be really proud of Olive. Proud of the friends that she chose. Proud of who she looked out for. Proud of how she looked out for me. I just hope that she's with them somewhere. So, make the most of what we have here, because life is short and this is all we have. This isn't just a goodbye to Olive. I've decided to move on to. Fair can. So unfair. I know. I miss her so much. She never hurt anyone. I know. And none of this would have happened if he hadn't have been up there. You can't think that. It's true. If Alex hadn't have been up there, then she'd still be here and none of this would be happening. It was an accident. She's just trying to help him. I don't know what to say to Tony. Just tell her your favourite thing about Olive. Your favourite thing. I see her everywhere, Mac. I can't... I can't be here on my own. You've got me. Amy's gone. I'll take care of you. I've never gone anywhere. I've never really been young. She did a great job at the church. Thanks. Before I go, I just want to sell the school. She loved you. Completely. I know how much you meant to her. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. Where's he going? He needs some time. Did you know Tony was going to go? Are you all right? Me? Yeah. Tough as old boots. Hi. Hi, babe. My favourite thing about Olive is that she always made me feel honest. She never made me feel like I had to be anyone else. She was my best friend and I'm really sorry. That's the nicest thing you could have said. Just because I've never seen it in the 
This is all I know. Where are you gonna go? Promise me one thing. Don't sell the calf. Keep it. In memory of her. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> Just walk a bit further. Nearly there. Right. Nearly there. How far is this? Stop, 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 stop. Right, turn, 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 okay. turn, turn, turn. Right, stay there. Keep your eyes closed. Keep your eyes closed. Keep them closed, keep them closed. Right. Three, two, one. Open. This is the one. I want this one. I'm telling you, I've still got water in my ear. Well, if you keep poking it, you're just gonna make it worse. Wow. Someone's been busy. Hey! I thought I was coming to pick you guys up. We walked from the station. Hmm, you haven't gone green, have you? There's nothing wrong with caring about the environment, Dad. No. Thanks for the postcard. Pleasure. And thank you for the credit card bill. I thought she asked you not to sell it. She asked? There's a lot of money there. Yeah, a lot of history too. Change comes from within. He's not doing this for a laugh, you know. <laughs> this sucks. Can't wait till tomorrow. Since when did you hate the holidays? What's the point of having free time if you can't afford to do anything with it? I made a couple of quid. You put that in there yourself. Right. Well, I've got to think of something. Girls are expensive. Never spend anything on me. Then girlfriends are expensive. She wants me to meet her for lunch. I wouldn't bust a gut unless she was totally worth it. She's a nice girl. Didn't say she wasn't. Right, well, I got to seem impressive, because apparently she's got some friend at Radio 1 and he's loaded. What friend? Some DJ. Then maybe I'll come too. What? He might be famous. Yeah. Put me in a You Daniel McKinnon? Who's asking? Ran Hathaway. Find your address on the website. You own the property on the Muse. Well, I own every property on the Muse. Including that closed cafe? It's not for sale. Really? Look, if you change your mind. I told you, it's not for sale. It's my wife. She's got her eye on it and, well, you're married. If they want something, you can't say no, right? Oh, yes, you can. It's not for sale. Have a good day. I did not want to let you go. Yeah. Hey, Frankie. How long have you got? Our tops. Can my friend Tom join us? Hey, guys. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Hi, I'm Frankie. Tom. We don't know each other yet. <laughs> Cheat. How the hell do you do that? 
Guess I just had a good hand again. Man, I'd never once lost this game till you arrived. I've got a reputation. <laughs> Not anymore. You are a freak. I'm sure you can gain your crown back as soon as I'm gone. That's not soon enough. You reckon you'll be alright out there? Yeah, I've come a long way. It wasn't my fault. What do you reckon you'll do when you get out? Me? I've got a while yet. I'll figure something out. Right? Yeah, of course you will. So, who's the most, like, famous person you've ever met? Um, I guess that depends on the context. No, it doesn't. Like, really famous, like, Snoop famous. Catherine Cadence? Oh. Yeah, stop. <laughs> no, I, I guess um, I've met Leona Lewis. She's she's pretty famous. Oh, she is so cool. Yeah, so cool. So, uh, what about you guys? Are you at school with Kat? Yeah, Kat goes to our school, don't you, Kat? GCSEs, you doing those? Yeah, loads of them. What's your favourite subject? Further math. No way, I love maths. Who's your favourite mathematician? What century? 19. Everest Galois. Oh, quintic equations, they're the best. Do you mind if I have some of your mustard? Dad. Hey. How you doing? Yeah, fine. Thanks. This cane, it's Oxford. They've kept your place for you. It's a second chance, Stephen. They don't come often. No, I'm not ready for that. Of course you are. You are. They want to reply today. Then no. You've got to grab life with both hands, Stephen. I'm trying to. You just can't keep wallowing. I'm getting better, Dad. You just... You need to let me ride this out. Call them and tell them that I need a bit more time. How much more time? I don't know, until I'm better. I'm not pushing this. It costs a lot of money to keep you here. Sorry. I've changed, Dad. Maybe you need to change too. have a shared interest in mathematics, that's all. What are you doing now? I'm just gonna go take some flowers for Olive. Yeah. Wanna come? Of course. You have like hardly any channels. Yeah, we have. My dad's got like 500. Yeah, well, we've got like loads of DVDs. Well, if it is my little niece. I'm going back. <laughs> you got here all right? Yeah. And the key worked? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry I wasn't in. No, no. <laughs> I, um, 
I think I surprised Marla, though. Surprised Marla, huh? Just surprised to see me, that's all. Yeah. Taylor's on exchange. I'm gonna give her Stephen's room for a bit. Sure. How is Stephen? Yeah, he's doing okay. I was so sorry that must have broken his heart. Yeah. But, um... So things are rocking for you, huh? This is your empire. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Just one meaningless calf away from glory. I'm sure you two have a lot to catch up on. Guess it was a long shot. I had my heart set on this one. School's only round the corner. It would have been so ideal. We'll find somewhere else. Yeah. Brian? Uh, Ryan. And this is my wife, Ruby. Daniel McKinnon. Hi. Hi. Six months. You've got six months to turn this place around, or I'm turning it into an arcade. Deal. Enjoy. So I don't know what's in store for me here, but it feels pretty exciting. I guess this is a chance for a fresh start, and I can kill for one of those. School starts tomorrow. I can't wait. It hits me again 